इंसेक्ट एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी एक्सटर्नल मॉर्फोलॉजी रेफर्स टू द एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी एक्सटर्नल फीचर्स मीन फिजिकल फॉर्म ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी और वी कैन से इट मीन्स वट द इंसेक्ट बॉडी इज कंसिस्टेड ऑफ वट द इंसेक्ट बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ और वी कैन से द फिजिकल फीचर्स द फिजिकल फॉर्म ऑफ द इंसेक्ट बॉडी सो अ जनरल इंसेक्ट बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री मेन पार्ट्स हेड थॉरेक्स एंड एबडाम सो इंसेक्ट बॉडी अ टिपिकली एन इंसेक्ट बॉडी इज डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री मेन पार्ट्स हेड थॉरेक्स एंड एबडाम हेड ऑफ द इंसेक्ट इज मेड अप ऑफ सिक्स हार्ड प्लेट्स विच आर नॉन एज स्क्राइट्स फर्दर द हेड कंसिस्ट ऑफ वन पेयर ऑफ लार्ज प्रोमिनेंट कंपाउंड आइज विच आर कंसर्न विद द विजन Besides this, two or three uh, ocelli. Ocelli means a simple eyes. They also help in vision. They are sensory to the light, and one pair of antenna, which is basically uh, sensitive to touch, vibration, and smell, and mouth parts. So. Head consists of these further these organs. It means that head is containing the sensory organs. It is basically containing compound eyes, simple eyes, antenna, and mouth parts. Next is thorax. The second part of the insect body is called thorax. Thorax is basically concerned with the movement of the insect body. Thorax consists of three pairs of legs the legs are used either for walking purpose or running purpose and there is also modifications in the legs legs may be used for digging purpose for swimming or for catching the prey and besides this thorax also consist of wings insects have either one pair of wings or two pair of wings and the basic function of the wings is flying so thorax consists of legs and wings and the function of thorax is the movement of the insect body the last part or the third part of the insect body is abdomen internally abdomen contains all the body or systems and externally abdomen contain one pair of anal cerci anal cerci is present in both male and female insects and it's sensory in function besides this abdomen also consist of one pair of anal style it is found only in some male insects used for the copulation purpose and the last is ovipositor it is found in some female insects it is an egg laying organ now i will show you all these parts through a diagram now and diagrammatically uh, the different parts of the insect body first is head i have shown you the head next is thorax and the third one is abdomen in the head it is consisting of a pair of large prominent compound eyes compound eye i have shown you and compound eye is uh, sensitive to the uh, light sensory to light uh, besides this uh, insect head consist of either two or three simple eyes which are known as ocellus or ocelli and these ocelli they detect small changes in the light intensity besides this one pair of antenna is present in the insect head antenna is basically the uh, nose of the insect body insect head and antenna is also known as feelers these uh, antennae they are sensitive to touch smell and vibration there is a lot of variation in the antenna of the insect antenna may be uh, filiform or it may be moniliform filiform antenna is present in grasshopper 
Filiform antenna is found in grasshoppers. Antenna may be moneliform like in termites. The antenna may be geniculate as in the ants and honeybees and antenna may be aristate as in the housefly. So there is a lot of variations in the antenna of the insect body. And next is about the mouth parts. So um, here the mouth parts are hanging downwards from the head and uh, uh, there is also variation in the mouth parts among the insects. So there is a variation uh, in the mouth parts among the insects uh, depending upon the type of food which the insect eat. So uh, mouth parts may be of mandibulate type as in cockroach and grasshoppers etc. They may be piercing and sucking type as in mosquitoes or they may be sponging type as in the housefly. The second part of the insect body is known as thorax or it is the middle part of the insect body which is lying between the head and the abdomen. Thorax is further divided into three parts. The first part is known as prothorax. The second part or the middle part is known as mesothorax and the last part is known as the uh, metathorax or the third part is known as metathorax. Thorax basically consists of wings and legs. Three pairs of legs are present in the insect body and each pair of leg is arising from each of the part of the thorax. So each of the thoracic segment consists of one pair of jointed leg and so three pairs means six legs are present in the insect body that is why uh, insect or class insecta is also known as the hexapoda hexapod was the old name of class insecta hexa means six and poda means legs so each thoracic segment has one pair of legs the first pair of leg is also known as the foreleg a second pair of leg is also called as the mid leg or middle legs and the third pair of leg is also known as the hind legs. So legs are basically used for the walking or running purpose but there is also modification different modifications in the insect legs which are used for different purposes like like fossorial leg fossorial means a digging leg it is found in the mole crickets. Saltatorial leg means the jumping leg which is found in the grasshoppers and crickets. The next is a raptorial leg. Raptorial means the praying leg which is found in the mantids. And the last one is natatorial leg which is basically the swimming leg and it is found in the water beetles and the water bugs etc. Thorax also contain wings. Insects are the only winged invertebrates. No other invertebrates have the wings except insects. So insects have either one pair of wings or two pairs of wings. The wings are arising from the uh, second segment of thorax, the mesothorax and the metathorax. There are no wings arising from the prothorax. So the first pair of wings arising from mesothorax is known as the forewings. The second pair of wings arising from the metathorax is known as the hind wings. So wings are basically used for the flight purpose. But there, but there is also modification in wings among the insects like like tegmina wings which are found in the cockroach and crickets used for protection purpose scaly wings also known as lepidious wings found in the butterflies and moths hemilitra wings found in the true birds and elytra wings found in the beetles and weevils 
next is abdomen abdomen is the last part or the third part of the insect body abdomen is further divided into uh, 6 to 11 abdominal segments some insects abdomen has fewer segments like 6 or 7 or 8 and, and some has 10 or 11 abdominal segments the appendages of the abdomen consist of one pair of segmented anal cerci it is present in both males and females and it is sensory in function some insects have one pair of unsegmented anal style anal style is a thread like structure it is used for the copulation purpose and some female insects has a egg laying organ arising from the abdomen which is known as ovipositor it is found only in the female insects so it's about the external morphology of an insect so insect body is consisting of head having sensory organs compound eyes ocelli antenna and mouth parts middle part is thorax having prothorax mesothorax and metathorax with three pairs of legs one or two pairs of wings and the last is abdomen consisting of six to eleven abdominal segments one pair of anal cerci one pair of anal style and ovipositor Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel.